Keeping your iPhone's home screen organized can really help to keep you more focused and productive. And in the past, I've tried to organize my home screen in all kinds of ways. I've tried having all folders on the home screen, organizing apps by color, and for a while I even had one folder with every single icon in it. But after several years of trial and error, I've finally settled in on the one method that I really like that helps me get more done every day. So it might help to think about your phone's home screen sort of like a room in your house. The more stuff you have jammed inside, well, the harder it is to find anything. And if the main attraction in that room is a TV with an Xbox and or a PlayStation hooked up, then those are the things that you're most likely going to focus on and end up using. Well, I think it's kind of the same thing on your phone. So if all you've got are games and video apps laying around, then your day is probably gonna be more entertainment focused. So for me personally, I really like to keep things as uncluttered as possible. So not including the dock on the bottom of my screen, I keep just eight apps on my home screen. Everything else I organize into folders which live on the second home screen. The main reason that I do this is to minimize distractions and try to stay focused. So all apps that have the potential to waste my time, like social media apps or games or news readers, those all go in a folder so I have to deliberately want to use them and then go looking for them rather than seeing them and then just getting sucked in. Now the eight apps that I keep on my home screen, those change from time to time. Right now I've got my Photos app because I use my phone as my camera more than just about anything else. And then I've got Grid Diary which helps me keep track of my days, Hindsight for keeping track of specific things like how much coffee I drink or how often I get takeout or fast food, a mood boarding app which I use to keep track of video shots, Apple's Notes app which I recently replaced Evernote with, an app called Today which is for building habits, Wonderlist where I store all of my video and article content ideas, and Time Page which is the best looking calendar app I've ever seen. Then over on my second home screen, I've got about a dozen folders. One's for business stuff, one's for social media, and then I've got a few for checking out my favorite media, like watching, listening, or reading my favorite content. Then I've got a catch-all folder for all my extras, and a similar folder for all the extra Apple apps. And I've also got a folder for my smart home stuff, a folder for health stuff, a folder for money stuff, and a folder for shopping apps. Folder, folder, folder. I've also got a folder for photo and video stuff. And finally, I've got a folder where I store stuff that I'm gonna test or review. So this is the system that really helps to keep me organized. And when my home screen is uncluttered, it really feels like my mind is too, because so much of my life is spent in the digital realm. So every few months when I'm bored, I'll go through and delete some of the apps that I thought would be cool, but that I never ended up using much. And I'm constantly swapping out the apps on my home screen or moving apps into folders just based on what it is that I want to accomplish. Also, I just like being able to see more of my wallpaper. Okay, so that's how I've been organizing my iPhone apps. And I've been using this system for several months. I don't know, four, five, six months. And I don't see myself switching. After all the things I've tried, this is definitely what works the best. So let me know what you guys are using, how you're organizing your apps down in the comments, because I do read those and I do pay attention and respond. Otherwise, hit subscribe. If you haven't left a comment or left a thumbs up yet, do that please on this video, because it really helps to spread the word. Otherwise, I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Later.